I'm in Peterborough Cathedral, 900 years old, and also the summer venue for the Soyuz tour. And we decided this year, with the incredible support from Samson, and choose a venue that would really surprise people and perhaps be a little controversial. But it's not the only great thing we're doing with objects this year. We announced that Stevenson's rocket, our most iconic object, would go to the Great Exhibition of the North. Something, of course, that continues to flourish in the organisation is learning, and our learning programme goes from strength to strength. And one of the most important things that's happened recently is the government announcing a new industrial strategy, and I hope that we are going to be a central player in that. Another thing we should be very proud of is our One Collection project. I think that for the first time in 25 years, a generation, we will really understand what we have in our stores. Seven million things that we barely, barely comprehend. I can honestly say that this year has been Bradford's year. We rebooted the museum in March with a new name, the National Science and Media Museum, our fantastic new Wonder Lab Gallery. And already this year, we've seen more than 30% more visitors coming to the museum than we had last year. It's been a spectacular year for us. We also were incredibly privileged to be the first venue to host the Soyuz capsule on its launch and its tour around the UK and also welcome Tim Peake along to that launch event as well. This year we launched the Bradford Science Festival so next year we're looking forward to repeating that event. Again it was fantastically successful, welcomed over 34,000 visitors into Bradford City Centre. It's been another great year here at the Science Museum and I'm stood in the Tomorrow's World Gallery in the Welcome Wolfson building, which is our partnership with the BBC and other partners, which has delivered some fantastic new contemporary science exhibitions. In particular, we have Superbugs, which has been amazingly well received by both health professionals and scientists alike, which explores problems of antibacterial resistance around the world. We're hoping it's been such a great success here that we'll be able to take it to China and India later in the year. In terms of exhibitions, this hasn't been the only great one. We've had the amazing success of India, which has been a little gem and really been taken to the hearts of our visitors, as well as improving our status amongst some key external stakeholders. As well this year, we've had the rebrand, which has been hugely successful. And the branding isn't just here in the building, it's also digital. And the digital team have done some amazing work this year, not only with the website, but some fantastic online resources, which have really improved our ability to communicate with our audiences. We're looking forward in 2019 to the opening of our medicine galleries, which is one of the biggest developments that the museum has undertaken in many, many years. The last year has been really exciting for both the Railway Museum and for Locomotion. During the last year, Locomotion joined the group formally, which has made quite a difference to our plans for what we're doing there going forward. We also had Sawyers at both Locomotion and then at the Railway Museum, where we've seen fantastic visitor numbers. Looking forward into the future, we have our Master Plan and York Central. We had a brilliant year in Manchester this year. We launched the Manchester Science Festival, which is the country's biggest and most inclusive science festival, with robots, which is really pulling in family and adult audiences. And this year we had Wonder Materials, our first homegrown exhibition from the Museum of Science and Industry, had its international premiere at Hong Kong. We're really looking forward to the rebrand of the museum in September and also to launching our new vision for the site where we become a cultural quarter in the centre of Manchester.